guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. And today, as you can see, we're gonna talk about VeChain, who have published its first financial report for the fourth quarterly VeChain Foundation Financial Executive Report. And this is the first report published since the launch of the VeChain Thor Mainnet. The financial report covers the period from May 2018 through July 2018. And according to the company, the report aims at upholding the company's transparency, commitment, monitor of funds usage, and show the development process of all aspects within the VeChain Foundation. And today we're gonna talk about the report in detail, where the report has covered a few crucial aspects of the foundation, opening the curtains to what the foundation has been up to for the past three months. This has included the VET supply, for example, progress on the event to VET token swap, the Ethereum expenditure, partnerships, marketing events, and their announced projects. So the foundation has begun the report by outlining the project's total supply of VET on the VeChain Thor blockchain, which currently is 86.7 billion. This has marked a 4% increase since the last quarterly financial report. And those who've contributed to the increase include their enterprise investors. And although the report has not named the businesses or investors who've agreed to buy and hold VET, it does disclose that there has been a number of partnerships and these deals have bird fruit and are leading investors to invest into the goods. We also have the co-founders and development team and according to the report, the co-founders and the development team was awarded 517 million VETs and the report acknowledges that this number is higher than that of the last period and attributes this to the increase in the number of team members. Then we have the operation, technological and business development, which basically covers another percentage has been used to fund operations within the ecosystem and to advance in technology and business development. This has included significant security testing and bug bounties conducted on the VG through mainnet source code, built in smart contracts, authority, master node deployment and developing. The VeChain Thor wallet application. The next thing they're mentioning is the Ven to VET token swap status, and the report has given an update on the progress of the Ven to VET swap, as you can see over here. And according to the report, as of September the 10th, approximately 93.5% of the ERC20 VEN tokens have been swapped for VET. The report acknowledges that this swap is being inspected by an independent third party with a report scheduled to be submitted to the steering committee for a review. And the company also says the project will continue offering the swap service to users who are yet to swap their ERC20 VN token through the VG Thor application. The next thing we have over here is the ETH expenditure where they have also outlined how they have spent ETH over the period and according to the report this number has gone down and the team has attributed this to more businesses and service providers accepting VET as a payment. A summary of the expenditure showed that much of the funds were used for technological research and development and business development as well. The team says that they have had to spend considerably on the internal and external testing of the VeChain Thor mainnet to ensure a smooth and safe launch, which they have obviously achieved. And additionally, during this period, the team has partnered with enterprises as they aim to expand their audience. Which leads us really nicely to the next point being partnerships and their collaborations. The company has basically listed out enterprises that they have partnered and collaborated with during this period. And this has included the Bright Foods and Shanghai Shando Food. Sorry if I said it wrong. We've got also Lingan International Manufacturing Exhibition Trading Center. We've got DB Schenker and Toddy Labs. The report concludes by outlining VeChain ecosystem project over the same period. And over here we have Player, Disembed, Mustang Chain, Ocean X. Safe Haven, Espresso and Karen High on July 19th. And the company says it plans to contribute being transparent in the new VeChain Thorn Mainnet era. It has also added that it is fully committed to seeing the VeChain Thorn ecosystem becoming the biggest blockchain platform. So guys, let me know if you have been following VeChain, how much of a fan you are. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I am quite a big fan of a VeChain. I've always been a fan of actually the transparency and how easily they respond when, once you have a problem and how 
how they made sure that everyone was able to have their token swap. There is so much to be changed that I could make a separate video when and how I fell in love with them. But that's not what we're gonna talk about right now. I'm just gonna finish it off quickly with telling you guys to hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter at AllCoinSara. Let me know what you think of Beaching Thor, whether you have used the calculator, for example, to see how much you can get and whether you await fifth of each month just as much as I am. I'm sure all the VeChain Thor token holders know exactly what I'm talking about. So guys, remember to subscribe to Combust Ladies and I hope you have a good one. Catch you later. Bye bye.